It's Saturday. I'm a little ragged, but I got a lot done. It's time for tomorrow's update. Okay, back to the normal updates. This feels good. First order of business, thank you Chris for helping me do the yard cleanup. Uh, my brother came in and helped me deal with some of the stuff that uh, I'm really not supposed to climb or everybody's worried about me climbing and getting re-injured and frankly I don't want to get re-injured. I'm still feeling a little bit in my knee but overall it's mostly my back and other muscles that weren't getting exercise when I was trying not to further damage my knee. So. Uh, yeah, that's the first order of business. Thank you, Chris. Second order of business, scheduling. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to continue with the weekly updates, but I'm going to record on Saturday and upload on Sunday rather than doing a week apart, which is what I used to do, uh, where I would record on Sunday and then release the following. So now you get more timely updates. Uh, secondly, I'm about two weeks behind on the midweeks. So what I'm going to do is release them kind of in semi-real time. Uh, like if I do work on a Wednesday, uh, then two weeks later I'll release it on that Wednesday until it gets to a point where I decide to just catch up. But i got enough to process. I'm just barely keeping up with that while dealing with everything else. So back to the garden. Um, progress along here. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, I mean, I cleared out a lot of stuff. I planted some seeds. I need to pick up some of the garbage that is blown in on the wind, but I think we've got more wind coming. Um, these were the original carrots. I'm going to need to get up there and take a look sometime soon. Uh, other stuff that was planted, we got some nasturtium there. Not much sign of things germinating yet, except, oh, and there's that's definitely a yellow nasturtium. That's what I was aiming for. That's what I got. That was from the maybe yellow pile. Well, it was yellow. Um, so this chard keeps kind of falling forward. Um, I'll figure out what to do with that. We've got germination on the radishes, but that happens frequently. Uh, or that they basically they're one of the, the quickest growing plants. So we'll have some radishes before too long. There is a vine up here, which I've pulled down from above, so it's more manageable dealing with it here instead of growing up the hill. Uh, after I cleared out a bunch of stuff that I thought was dead and then ended up finding vegetables that were growing uh, after I'd already cut the vines. But So we'll see what this develops or if it doesn't develop anything at all. I mean, you can see it looks dead up above, but there's definitely some green down below. and. Maybe it'll root or something. I'll leave this half of the upper bed, I think, for it and keep it trimmed until the day I decide it's just not worth it anymore. I'll probably try and get something planted up here soon uh, as more of a uh, winter crop or a late fall winter crop. This is a four o'clock that came from the backyard. I did a bunch of cleaning back there. You can see the that's where the seeds come from. We got a million seeds. And these are uh, the pink four o'clocks. They're really kind of cool. An unusual color for four o'clocks. Anyway, that's what it looks like on this side. And in the back, there's been a lot of work. Uh, I can still see stuff that needs to be done. There's always stuff that needs to be done. But, I mean, the distortions are doing well. This tomato is doing amazingly well. I can see fruits in there. They just haven't turned yet. I just picked a red one. There's a couple more that are going to turn soon. Uh, nothing else really. I mean, this is another tomato. I think this was the cherry tomato, and it just never really produced anything. Uh, we've got the cherry pick peppers. I still got at least one on there. Oh, two. There's one down here. Hopefully you saw that. This is interesting where it turns black on me. I don't know if that's going to turn red again. At least I've documented it now. Peppers really didn't do much for me this year. Um, there was one hybrid Nikita I just picked because it was starting to change to yet another color. I just spotted another weed. But my brother really helped with the stuff back here, getting these vines back under control, uh, getting them off the slide. And once I swing around here, you'll be able to see. Uh, revealing the bougainvillea again 
so that's good that worked out nicely then we have this side where we did a bunch of cleaning we cut back the bougainvillea we got that one piece sticking way the heck up there actually it looks like growing alongside it is part of the pepper tree i thought i saw something i'm gonna have to go back in there and find it but look at the purple orchid tree something whew, i gotta be careful i don't fall off the curb uh, that's looking really good. I'm really happy because it's like twice as tall as it was at the beginning of the year. Uh, we cut back the sticker bush. I cut a few more branches off of the pepper tree. Uh, I did the lawn yesterday. I did other cleanup this week a couple of times because we had some pretty serious wind. But that brings us back around front. We've circled the house. I've given you the full update, I think. <laughs> That's it for now. As usual, take care of yourself, take care of the ones around you, and may your thumb be green. Mm -hmm.